Learn how to properly center type within a text box. So here I have a document open of a card inside that I hope to print off. I have this large area here where I want to place a personal greeting and within this area I want the type to be centered. The easiest way to do this is to use a text box. So I've got my horizontal type tool and I've already set all of my type tool settings to what I want. Just make sure to set the alignment to center. And then on the document, click and drag to create a text box. I'm gonna to try to fill a big portion of this large area. And then I'm going to type in a personal greeting. So I'll just paste something in. And then I can click the check mark to commit the change. Now I want to center this text box on my document. So I'll press Control A in Windows or Command A on a Mac to select the entire document and then I'll get the Move tool. Then in the Tool Options, I'll click on the Align Horizontal Centers or the Middle icon and the Align Vertical Centers icon. Then I can press Control D in Windows or Command D on a Mac to deselect. Now, as you can see that my type within the text box, while it is centered horizontally, it is not centered vertically. There is much more space between this last line of type and the bottom edge of the document versus the top line of type and the top edge of the document. But there's a reason why this happens. Let me show you why. So with a text box, when you center it on a document, Photoshop and Photoshop Elements will both center the text box according to the bounds of the text box. So I'll double click here so you can see the boundaries of my text box are this, and that's what it's centering. It's not centering the type within the text box vertically, it's centering the boundaries of the text box. So to fix this, here's what you do. So in the layers panel, you'll double click on the thumbnail of the text box layer to activate the text box like we just did. You'll be able to see that the text is highlighted and the boundaries of the text box will show up. Then on the document, you can click and drag up or sometimes you might need to drag down on this bottom middle handle and we're going to drag it until it meets the bottom line of the type. So like that. Then just make sure you don't drag it up too far or your bottom line of type will disappear. So just make sure that it keeps that last line of type visible. Then you can click the check mark to commit. Now let's center it again. We can press Control A in Windows or Command A on a Mac to select the entire document. Make sure you have the Move tool still active. Then in the Tool Options, we can click on the Align Vertical Centers icon one more time and voila! Now our text box is centered both horizontally and vertically on the document. And then you can deselect. So here's a before and after showing that once I corrected the bottom boundary of my text box, my type would be correctly centered on the document. And in case you're curious what the card front looks like, here's the card front I made to go with this card inside. And here's an image of my card inside with my properly centered type. I hope this quick tip has helped you see how useful a text box can be. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like and consider subscribing to our channel. This has been Jennifer Juris with Digital Scrapper. We help you get your stories told.